Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, today we will discuss about Spark Context and Spark Session in Apache Spark. So what is Spark Context? It's the entry point to any Spark functionality and it establishes a connection to a Spark cluster and it manages the execution of distributed tasks. So Spark Context is the entry point to the Spark job, when Spark application. So the scope of this uh, Spark Context is the application. Means when the application starts, this Spark Context will be created and until the, the application is running, this will be active. Once the application is ended, Spark Context will be closed. The same with the Spark session as well. Okay. So, Spark context is used in uh, Spark version 1.x and 2.x and it provides the necessary architecture for distributing and parallelizing the data processing task across the cluster. This is as important as that. And uh, this Spark context is used when working with RDDs and uh, low level transformations and actions. Okay, so this was because of the earlier versions we used to, we had only Spark context in 1.x and in 2.x uh, also we have Spark context and at the same time uh, even Spark session was introduced in Spark 2.x, okay. So what is Spark session? It's also the same way but Spark session is the unified entry point for interacting with the Spark's higher level APIs. So what is that meaning of unified is? Uh, earlier, uh, before the Spark session, right, uh, we have Spark context and for Hive, we have Hive context and for performing any Spark SQL operations, we used to create the SQL context. So, like this, we have multiple context uh, which we used to instantiate uh, for working with the Spark. If it's Spark core, then Spark context. If it's Spark SQL, then SQL context. So, like that, we used to have multiple contexts. But whereas, when you come to the Spark session, it's a unified entry point for interacting with Spark's higher level APIs. Okay. So, which means that this one is enough to take care of all the contexts. Using the Spark session itself, we can access Spark core and Spark SQL, Spark streaming, anything we can do. Even Hive also, we don't have to create any other context. Okay. And as I said, Spark session was introduced in 2.x Spark version, right? 2.x and it simplifies the process of working with structured and semi-structured data. And also it provides efficient data analysis and processing. <coughs> okay. So, uh, when it is used is when we are working with the data frames, data sets, SQL queries and any higher level Spark functionalities, we use the Spark session. So, how to create Spark context and Spark session, right? This is the sample code. In PySpark, we say from PySpark, import Spark context and SC is a variable that we are creating. By default, we use Spark. Okay? I mean, SC, okay? So, that, I mean, it's like a industry standard or whatever because wherever I see, we use SC only. You can give any name. And Spark context. Spark context. Uh, uh, the function we are calling, whatever we imported here. And we are giving the local and some app name okay similarly for using the same thing in scala we have to import spark conf and spark context so this is uh, this spark conf right this is any configuration settings that you you wanted to give right any app name setting master or any other high uh, support any other support if you wanted to give you you can uh, uh, actually configure this this in this uh, conf object so how you can do is val because it's scala val conf equal to new spark conf this is the class we are in for this class we are creating the object and we are setting the app name and setting the master so here we have taken local of 2 okay now and after that, again, val sc, as I said, as per industry standards, uh, we were just using sc, okay? sc equal to new spark context class, which we imported in this line, right? To the spark context class, 
we are passing this configuration that's when this spark context will be created in scala and similarly if you take right for uh, spark session how to create a spark session is this is the code like from pyspark.sql import spark session and spark equal to uh, here uh, for, for uh, spark context how we were using the generic variable across the projects right as sc similarly for the spark session we just use spark okay so spark equal to spark session dot builder builder is the method that we call for creating the spark session and we are passing the master as local of one to whatever based on your uh, memory requirements and we are giving the app name okay we can send any app name and finally the function that we are calling is get or create what this particular one does if it's already present it will just get and it will return to the spark variable if it's not there then it will create that is the meaning of this get or create and similarly this is in PySpark, right how to create the spark session in scala so import org apache spark uh, sql and then spark session class and the similar way how we did in the PySpark. here also spark session dot spark uh, builder and master app name we will uh, call it we will use this get or create function we will call it this will return the spark session to this spark variable okay this is the sample code this is how we create spark context and spark session in scala and pyspark okay next so as we speak right there are two different things so what are the differences between spark context and the spark session is uh, coming to the architecture right so this is uh, the spark context is older low level low, lower level api that interacts directly with the spark cluster whereas uh, the spark session provides a higher level and more user friendly api and that is uh, the architecture wise means because it's uh, uh, main uh, user friendly okay and coming to the functionality spark context uh, focuses on the core spark functionality we already discussed right for rdds and the low level transformations uh, we use spark context and for any additional features like for uh, any structured data processing and uh, any sql queries means spark sql queries and uh, even for the machine learning we use spark session okay and performance wise if you take right spark session can potentially offer better performance optimizations due to its benefit of higher level api design and built-in query optimizations okay so that's why we prefer spark session over spark context and um, so when uh, as we are saying performance wise even functionality wise this is better but uh, when we will use the spark context means uh, when you are dealing with some large scale uh, data processing or batch processing and real time streaming but with the lower level means rdds or any other thing then we use the spark context otherwise we use the spark session because it is well suited for data analysis tasks that require structured and semi structured data manipulation and querying okay so while working in the project you have to uh, understand uh, which is better spark context or spark session uh, based on your project requirement if you are mainly working on the spark sql then you can go for spark session if you are mainly concentrating on rdds or any other lower level uh, transformations you have to apply then go for spark context okay hope this uh, video is useful for you friends thank you for watching the video Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you.